Hello, it is Thursday, it is the 9th of September 2021 and it's 39 days since I quit smoking, 39 whole days have I, have I gone without a cigarette and I am so, so happy about it all, you know, did I ever think I was going to do it? Absolutely not, no, nope. and I'll be truthful about that, I thought within two weeks I would be opening a fresh packet of cigarettes, unbelievable, but here I am 39 days later, I haven't cracked, I don't intend to crack and I don't want to crack because I'm starting to feel really, really well in a bizarre bizarre uh, kind of way for me because i've never felt like this you know um things is I, my whole attitude to everything is just really upbeat at the minute which is great and that's been the last few days you know the first few weeks was difficult giving it up you know um i had a lot to contend with but i did it and here i am feeling absolutely terrific now you know um the health benefits alone the minute you stop smoking you start feeling the health benefits i've discussed this in a previous video of what actually happens to your body while you're actually smoking and what horrible poisonous things you're intaking uh, my own health benefits noticeable at the minute is my skin complexion you know if you go back to video one my very first the, the video that, that i did first off i'm a different person i don't even recognize myself there um my breathing is brilliant at the moment you know i'm almost like a like a oxygen junkie you know i've never breathed there as clean as happy you know well clean for as much as we can with the pollution in the air but yeah and when i am when i do breathe i mean i'm, I'm not in no pain there's no there's no wheezing i can you know i can take a good breath in and i feel fantastic for it you know and consequently because of that i'm sleeping better at night i'm not waking up um my wife used to wake me up in the night time to say babe you know your breathing's really bad at the minute or uh, in fact i do believe that i was suffering with a little bit of sleep apnea where you actually stop breathing for short whiles um and also as well getting up in the night on the pretense of going to the loo or on the pretense of getting up to go and get a drink um i was going for a cigarette instead you know and I was waking up in the next day and I was feeling absolutely crushed and shattered all of the time, you know. But I don't do that no more. I'm sleeping really, really well. I'm sleeping right through the night. I'm waking up in the morning and I'm feeling refreshed in here, which is staggering, you know. Um, so, yeah, and obviously, I mean, there's still health stuff that I've still got to go through, you know. Um, this cholesterol thing for a start, I'm, uh, that there on my eye, that's a thing called antiplasma and that's caused by smoking and it is cholesterol it's build up a fight deposits because it's got nowhere else to go you know some healthcare medical professionals have sort of hinted at that it might leach away the more that i continue not to smoke you know which hopefully that'll be a really good sign if that happens i'm not too concerned about that it's been there for a while now but some people have huge bands of it on across each eye you know so i'm lucky that it's only just affected there at the moment um, so yeah, as time goes on now, I'm going to start looking after myself a lot better. I'm going to start looking at uh, my whole well-being uh, and seeing what I can improve. At my age, I'm 58 years old, and as an ex-smoker of 43 years, and I was smoking. I was a heavy smoker. You know, it was in every fiber of my being was smoking. I was smoking uh, 40 cigarettes plus a day uh, towards well up until recently. You know, up until me quitting, 40 plus a day. And that's some, that was mad, you know, I've got money in my pocket now, I'm better, financially better off, my health's improving, fantastic, you know, I've got a long way to go yet, yeah, but I'm getting there. So, consequently, um, as from today, to celebrate this fact, I have decided that I am no longer a person that quits smoking, I am now a non-smoker, because I ain't going back. And believe you me, if I can stop smoking after the, the length of time that I did, anyone can do it. And I'll be. I, I will argue the point. I will blatantly argue the point because anyone can do it. Because I believe, and I'll I'll say this forever and ever and ever. Quitting smoking, being a smoker, and quitting smoking is psychological. All right, there is a psychology behind it, and all you need to do is to figure out how you're going to get through those psychological barriers. There is the habitual smoking. There is the ritual 
of smoking. There is the habit, there is the routine, there are peer pressures, non-peer pressures and things like that. The actual addiction itself is manageable, right? And that might sound a little bit blase, but I'm going to defend this because, I mean, me, when I decided to quit smoking, I use nicotine replacement therapies. I use a patch, I use, I use gum and I'm reducing and I'm reducing and I'm reducing because that addiction is manageable if you if you believe you need nicotine you can find a different way of actually getting that into your system you can actually find a different delivery way of getting that into your system if you feel that you should need it i knew i did i, I wouldn't have been able to cope otherwise i would have got half as far if i didn't find that way so the nicotine thing i'm, I'm dealing with that you know that i'm reducing that the need for that nicotine or the want of it um, yeah, the cravings come back every few days or every now and again, you know, but it's, it's more like a nag. It's just a rah, rah It's like kids. You know, you can deal with that. You can find different ways of dealing with it. Um, again, if you want to look through my past videos, you'll, you'll find what I've said um, to be hopefully beneficial. I, I certainly did. Um, but yeah, so believe you me, I'll say this without with any impunity is if I can stop smoking if i can quit after the length of time at my age i'm 58 years old now if i can quit so can you okay it's not as difficult as i ever imagined it to be it isn't painful it doesn't make you feel violently ill you know you just have to be able to deal with a few things and you can do it if you work out the psychology I'm not here to lecture, obviously, you know, I'm I'm buzzed up at the moment, I am so, so happy with myself, I am really, really pleased, seriously, um, and then consequently, you know, um, all I can ask you to do is hit the like and subscribe button, I'll come back to that in a second, but hit the like and subscribe button because it might just help someone, you know, even consider taking this journey. You know, and if that's the case, then I'll be made up with that, you know, because let's face it, this type of video is not going to be monetized by YouTube. I'm not going to get awards. I'm not going to get millions. I've got 10 subscribers and I'm so, every single one of them, I was so made up to get. Thank you so much for doing that. You know, it did make a difference. You know, some of the comments I've had, it's been fantastic in chatting to people. You know, thank you so much for doing that. And again, if you've got any questions, Whatever it is, about about if, as long as it's pertinent to, to quitting smoking, leave a comment. I, I might not be able to answer it. I'm no expert on this. I'm just a layman trying to get through it. But if I can help you or I can find a way of helping you or even trying to discover what an answer to the question that you're asking, brilliant. You know, I'm willing to do that. Um, so, yeah, if you, if you can, just like and subscribe it. And please do leave some comments. In the meantime, I just want to say thank you thank you so much because when i went on this journey to quit smoking i did approach uh, my local authority and which was quit smoking wales and they've been fantastic absolutely and i urge anyone to get to, to approach you know wherever you live there will be some sort of service you can get help for free and you can actually get the nicotine replacement therapy um, products that you do need and usually they're free um, and my support worker, my outreach support worker, Alex, I just want to say you've been a star. I wouldn't probably have got through half of what I've got through if you hadn't have been there for the last six weeks. I'm flying solo now. Um, my journey with Alex has actually stopped now. Um, you, you, you only get so long with, with the thing. But, I mean, you can, you can recontact them again if you do need support. They will be there for you. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thanks very much for everything that you've done and just you've been a star. Uh, in the meantime, I do hope, like I say, to put a compendium together of everything that I've that I've been through, gone through and worked my way through over this last 39 days. Um, I just want to say thank you. Look after yourself. Stay safe and be happy. And from this non-smoker adios for now thank you so so much for taking the time to listen to me ranting on and going on with myself bye bye